Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm Katie Johnson, and we're here at Blackhawk Handicraft working on a little bit of Art Merit Badge, our four renderings. So let's take a seat and we'll get started. So for the Art Merit Badge requirement, you have to draw or render the same subject in four different ways. So what we have here today, as I said, was pens, pencils, watercolors, and acrylics. I have chosen my subject to be one of our paint pots of the acrylic paint. I find it easy to do geometric shapes just because I think the lines are a lot easier. You could do anything like an apple or maybe even your dog if you're feeling very crafty, but I'm going to go with this. I have a harder time looking at light with painting, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a picture of my subject so that way I can tell the light and the dark and the shade just a little bit better. So I'm going to be looking at this picture while I'm painting. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to do a couple of quick sketches with pencil. So I'll be looking at my picture here, I'll prop that up. And I'm going to be using a nice sharp mechanical pencil. So there are a couple of different methods you can do when you're using pens or pencils. You have hatching, stippling, and shading. With hatching, you're using lines, and the closer together the lines are, the darker it looks. So in this picture, you can see there's like a light shining down on this corner, and you can see it gets very dark at those corners. With stippling, it's kind of the same with hatching, but you're using dots instead of lines. So you're going to be putting the dots closer together where you want it to be darker and farther apart where there's light. So it's like the top of the pyramid has light coming down on it. And then shading, I like to do that with pencil. Maybe you've gotten bored in class and you've done the same thing, but I will just kind of shade around and in the darker spots, you're gonna maybe go heavier on your pencil and in the lighter spots, you're gonna go lighter or maybe even leave it, leave it blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off using pencil and I think I will be doing some shading. So to start, I'm gonna do maybe a quick sketch of this. I will just do some demonstrations for this one. You guys will see my final project up on our page which you guys can go look at anytime you want. So I'll start off by doing the lid, kind of an oval shape there, have, the, have it come down because it's 3D, kind of complete the lid there. Uh, maybe we'll do the snaps there at the front. What is that attached? Like on the side maybe? Um, another snap, bottom of the lid. And then we'll do the pot. So that comes down on the other side, it doesn't quite line up with it. And then the bottom follows the shape of the lid. So kind of a cylinder shape. So we'll do that. And then looking at my picture here, you can see we have a little bit of shadow there, a little bit of shadow there, and it's pretty light right in here because we have the sun coming in. With the pens and pencils, since I really only have one color pencil and one color pen, the light is really what you're trying to capture to make this look realistic. So you want to get a really good picture, get a really good shot, and when you're working on it, if you don't take a picture, you want to do it all in one go, because otherwise if you come back, the lighting's going to be different. So it's going to be a completely different picture. So we'll start off and we'll do some shading. So it's darker in the corner there, so I'm going to make some pencil lines down there and kind of shade that in, coming around, kind of dark on the back of the cylinder. We'll put some up here, maybe a little bit on the back of the lid, but the lid's pretty bright. And then we'll just lighten it up a little bit as we're coming across. I'm not pressing as hard down on the pencil. And kind of like this. And you can do a couple of little lines maybe, kind of following the shape of the cylinder until you have nothing. Another thing you can do is maybe roll up or bunch up a sheet of paper. And the graphite will smear kind of easily. So you can even just kind of push down on there and bring the graphite across the paper without even making lines. So that kind of gives it some depth too. So I'm kind of like looking, I like how that pot looks. So I think I'm just gonna move along. Um, I'll finish up the lid later. I think I'm gonna end up doing all of the paint pots. So those will be up on the site. But I think I'm gonna start now using my pen. So like I said, I like to use a rolling ball pen cause it works a little bit kind of like a marker, but you can use any kind of ballpoint pen you have laying around. Um, and I think I want to do stippling for this one because I just think that's easier and I like how it looks better. So I'll start off again. I'll do the top kind of round and then I'll have the lid come down on this side and the lid come down on this side. Have it follow around the shape of the lid. I think I'll draw the pot first instead of the lid. 
instead of the lip like we did in the last one. So I'm liking that shape better than I did for the last one. I think that looks more like the paint pot. And we'll add that snap on the back. And then we'll add the one on the front. It's kind of right like there maybe. We'll do the same thing over here. And so just like this one, we're looking at it, the light seems to be in the front and there's a little bit of shade there. So we'll add that in too. So we're gonna start making some dots. And you can do them kind of far out at first. Um, and then I'm gonna go back through and just put more dots in there. It's pretty easy. That's why I like the rolling pen. It kind of comes out like a marker. So you don't have to rub it or anything. It's pretty good. So it'll come farther apart, just like that. So we'll have maybe one or two over there. You see a little shadow under there from the snap. So we'll do a little bit darker under here too, just to show shadow. And then we'll maybe do some up here. So really with the pen and the pencil, you're trying to use the lines and the graphite and the ink to show the light, to give it shape. So it's pretty easy, nothing hard. Just pick a good subject matter, it'll be fine. So next we're gonna move into watercolor. So for that, if you've never used watercolor before, we have a little kit here. They're all washable, it's fine. And we have eight colors and a paintbrush. So I'm gonna use the yellow paint because I'm doing the yellow paint pot right now. And for watercolor, you take a little bit of water and you mix it in there. And the more water you have, the lighter the color is gonna end up being. So I'm not gonna put a lot of water in there right now because I wanna be able to see it. Cause maybe I'll try and play with the light a little bit too for this. So I think what I wanna do, instead of just going straight in with the color, I wanna give it an outline so that I know what I'm painting in. So once again, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna draw the lid. Just like that. Finish it up there, I'll draw the snap. Draw the opening on the other side, and then the one here. And then, oh, that's smeared. You wanna be really careful when you're working with the watercolor paper. It's actually a very special paper. It just helps the watercolor blend a little bit more, have the water soak in, makes it look nicer. So that's why you gotta be really careful. So I'm gonna go in with the watercolor paint here. I'm gonna use a little bit of the side. And let's see if I can make it a little bit darker on this side. And then I'll use a little bit more diluted watercolor on the other side to see if we can give it some depth. I'm gonna twist the paintbrush around a little there to try and give it a tip so I can get a little more fine. We'll do that. We'll give it a little more water there. We'll bring it across. Watercolor's kind of fun. It's easy right now because I'm using all one color, but I don't know what you guys will be painting, but if you use a couple of different colors, they'll maybe bleed a little bit into each other, but that makes it look real nice. Watercolor's probably one of my favorite mediums to use. So mine's just really simple. I'm just coloring it in yellow. Um, something that you guys can try and do is maybe overlap your colors a little bit. So if I had maybe a darker yellow, I don't really so much here, but maybe I would try and go and take even just a little bit of that brown and try and mix it in there at the end just to give it some depth. So we'll do a little bit of that. Just playing with the light like we were with the pens and pencils. Oops, that was a little too much brown. So I'll blend that in a little bit more. But just very simple. So that's a little bit of the watercolor. And then the last thing we have are the acrylic paints. And in your kit, you guys have a nice large canvas. Since I'm painting this right now, I'm just gonna go with my nice little canvas here that I have. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna sketch this out. So I'm gonna use pencil in case I mess up. It's really easy to erase on canvas. So I'm gonna go pencil. I'll do the lid there. It's a little bit bumpy though, so you're not gonna get a straight line. You have to work real hard to do that. We'll sketch out that line. We'll finish off the lid. We'll get those snaps in there. 
and one's on the front too. And then we'll come down, bring it around and finish off the bottom of our paint pot. So I chose the paint pot, one of the reasons, because I have that exact color of paint. So the paint pot, open that up. You might want to mix it up a little bit. Sometimes the acrylics get separated. These look pretty good. So I'm going to wipe off some of that excess because you don't want to put too much on. So I'm going to dip my brush in there. And I'm just going to try and stay in the lines as much as I can. Something I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to go back in with my pen. Or you can take like a nice fine Sharpie or a thick Sharpie if you want. And um, you can outline it and it makes it look really nice. So with this, maybe if I wanted to show a little bit more depth with the watercolor, I used that brown watercolor I had. With this, maybe I would try and use this green color. But for now, I'm just going to shade this in. And another thing with these is they're a little bit thin, the paint itself. So if you're looking to cover the background fully, you might want to do one or two coats. So you'll paint it in and you'll let it dry and that'll take a couple minutes maybe. And then you can paint over it again and it'll just keep covering it up so it's nice and thick. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to rinse off my brush here. And then while my paint is still wet to help it blend a little bit better and to make it look more natural, I'm going to dry off my brush and I'm going to use the green paint. So I'm going to try and mix this up like that. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to use just a little bit of green paint to give it some depth right on the edge there. We've been putting it the whole time. Just a little bit. Because it's a little bit darker. And I'm going to just blend that in with the end of my paintbrush because I have paint on this end and I don't have another paintbrush with me. So we'll do that. And then I'll maybe use like a blue for the tip here because it's kind of clear. But we'll see. Like I said, you guys will see my finished pieces up on the website. So that's all we have for now. If you have any other questions, you can ask me in the Zoom meeting. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see all of your renderings in class.